The Mayor of London has said that for the next 20 years, this is the heart of regeneration in London. We've been here for a number of years and we plan on investing heavily in the area. The people will arrive with no links to the community and churches need to reach out to them. Newham is changing. So for the next few minutes, let's hear from people who will have the greatest influence over this change. Newham for us, uh, ran about eight years ago, came onto the radar as a result of the games being, being won here. And since then, we've worked uh, extensively in the area that you see here, uh, elsewhere, in existing communities we see it's important to make sure that the development provides all of the necessary uh, facilities for the existing and the incoming community whether it's a school churches healthcare, or just community space well in 2001 at the census then we there were an estimate of 247,000 people living in Newham yeah. and the last sentence uh, census a couple of years ago it had risen to 340 sorry 311,000 yeah. and is growing if you come back in 10 or 20 years' time, it's going to be massively changed. A lot more homes, a lot more jobs, a lot more opportunities. And I think the key to all this is we must make sure that we take the opportunities to benefit our residents that are here today. Because otherwise, all that will happen is, as has happened elsewhere, you'll sweep through and other people will take those opportunities. But also the churches need to look and see what their community needs, so how they can fulfil those needs, or lobby to help other people fulfil those needs. The community is at, core, is at the core of everything and, and of course a successful development has a successful community that underpins it in all senses. We're spending a lot of time building community hubs where people can come and have a say and influence and, and do things with their neighbours and it, that for us will be an absolutely key essential part of it. At an early stage of planning the Olympic Park and particularly the Olympic Village I used to ask a question at the planning meetings where will the mosques be? And, uh, I'm still here and I'm still asking the question and uh, the East Village still doesn't really have a, a place where the faiths can meet or interact and that's a real problem. That's at the core of any new or enhanced development to make sure that uh, with 35,000 new homes being developed that that's done in a sense that actually maintains a community cohesion. There are some churches I know and some I don't. They don't appear to have a presence and that worries me sometimes. They'll be sort of preaching literally to a shrinking community without getting outside, there's a lot more going on. People who have a passion, who have a belief, who have a faith, who want to make a difference, those are the people that will change the world.